natural light. Oh wow, it's just showing how Tana got here, how not Tana got up here. Ah, tight though. Oh, hello folks, welcome back. I'm the one, the only, I am Hobo Tom. I look literally distracted because I have three jobs today. I just, I just got off doing my ETS work. Got my four hours there. Got my pile of money from that. I'm actually still doing on, on this computer. You guys can't see it, and you can't see, so I would break every agreement I have for a lot of things. Oh, there's a hole there? Shoot, I never knew there was a hole there. That's new. It's getting worn. Jesus, this is fairly new underwear, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's my, you can see my, my supervisor there stalking in the background, even though I have her, her snack right up here. Yeah, wait a second. You know what, you don't need, and then I have to go to work. As it's raining, because I think, as I was opening this up, it's thundering right now. I think the rain stopped. I think today's it actually starts at five. So if it rains early, that's fine. It rains late, it's fine. As long as I clock in, I'm good. So that'll be my third job. And I have this, my hobby, because YouTube refuses to pay me yet. One day I will. F One day YouTube's gonna fix that, I guess. I think I found my near optimal level. Ah, that's even better, son. For. Ah. That's good right there. For my microphone. Again, it all depends where. Again, my supervisor is this right now. It's probably using the executive washroom. Who knows? She's she's into the um, kitchenette area, also known as the hobo kitchen. Yeah, you know what? Enough about that nonsense. I'm gonna score this, and while you do this, hit my music. Yep, that's right. It's predictions time again. And this time, as you saw by the unique. <laughs> I'm so, so depraved. The unique, um, oh wow, 37, I have to get this done too. See, because look at this. I've been working for six hours and one minute, sorry. Six, six hours and two minutes. The unofficial timer lets me know that. But make sure I'm not going over my prescribed nine hours a day or 40 hours a week. I like having the nine hour day. So that means you work four days, nine hours, in one day for like a little over four hours because it's I was cut off at like the 8.9 hour mark enough about this you don't want to hear me babble about work you know again by the picture that I found this is AEW double or nothing kind of one of the very few pay-per-views that they have um so let's start off with I guess what's going to be the pre-show and this is rare but <laughs> So many of these, I feel, are very predictable. So we'll start off with a pre-show. Pre-show starts at 7. I'm going to try my darndest. Cause yeah. Should be able to. I'm just... Yeah. Should be able to start the pre-show at 7 here. So that would make sense. Because I should be able to do that. So let's see here. Uh, just let me read one thing. I'm looking for something. Wah, wah, wah. I don't even see that here. At least it's a little bit better organized. So, yep. So, I should be all set. Uh, I think the only thing I'll have to do Sunday, I do have to get to church, the gym. I do have to make that Monday Night Raw video. Yeah, that I'm going to double up on, on next Monday. Who knows? Monday, I'm actually making a lot of videos. I'll get to that at the very end. But AEW, double or nothing predictions. Or my, <laughs> might as well be chalk. Start off with a pre-show. I've never done this before, I think. Um, it might as, you know what, because it's a pre-show, this is my double stone cold lock of the night. My stone cold lock of the night.
and it's going to be a double one. Because we're going to have Hookhausen versus Tony Nick, Tony Nice and Mark and Smart Mark Sterling. You know what? You can go back in the history of managers as pro wrestlers to kind of end the feudish thing or start a feudish thing and it never turns out well for the manager. So, my stone cold lock numero uno I learned that from El Vagabundo. It's going to be Hookhausen, obviously. My second Stone Cold Lock of the Night. I'm not going to show the graphic because both of these. The pro pre-show is just chalk. Um, Jade Cargill and the Hose. I had a picture of that of that TBS Championship. I can't. I, I cannot unsee the word Hose. And it. Um, Jade Cargill versus Anna J. Anna J is absolutely no business holding any titles in AEW unless they do make a trios championship that with a dark order of evil uno or they could even freebird the trios so yeah it doesn't matter though jade cargill's gonna win again that's my stone my double stone cold Lock of the night. Then eventually we're going to get to the main show. Um, I do not know what order it is. I just kind of wrote this down as I was learning it. And it's also different from my match card because I'm like, nah, they're not going to have like women, women match, like women in the first half, men in the second half. That's just because I was lazy. So I kind of even did mix that up a little bit. Um, probably the first match, we'll have the, the trios match, the House of Black. Keep on calling him Alistair Black, or Malachi Black, Brody King, Buddy Murphy, or Buddy Matthews, whatever they're calling him now, versus Muerte de la Triangular, or for those of you that don't speak Spanish, like me, I'm probably making up words too. That's Death Triangle, and that's Pac, Ray Phoenix, the bastard Pac, Ray Phoenix, and Pentagon, G Pentagon Jr. I hate it when they like change everyone's names and I can't figure out who they are. You know what? Death Triangle, they're gonna win. Let's see here. Then let's say let's go with the woman's Owen Hart match. Did I write this down? Yeah. It's Friday. I haven't seen Rampage yet. Ruby, it just seems like a natural fit. Ruby Soho versus Dr. Britt Baker. Tony Khan has been weird about bringing new talent from the WWE. I have an awful feeling that Ruby Soho is the Princess Kimberly of NXT where all she's going to do is do jobs to kind of AEW talent. So, it's, so I say it's going to be Ruby Soho versus Britt Baker. Britt Baker is going to win that. That will give her something good about it will make her interesting, I guess. Um, fill that in a little bit. We might as well just do the men's own heart match next. Uh, Samoa Joe versus Adam Cole, baby. Boom. Adam Cole, baby. Boom. Is gonna win. There's gonna be some shenanigans. Um, this way he's gonna have that trophy. Eventually, Red Dragon is going to get the belts off someone. So, yeah, that's just an absolute given. Uh, then, let's say we'll have the Hardy Boys versus... Oh, we're finally doing this match. Yes! Brother Nero, I knew you'd show up. Delete! Too sweet, obsolete, suck it. Uh, the Hardy Boys versus the Young Bucks, finally. I know they had like a match in Peru somewhere. Uh, among among the space-time continuum. But yeah, <laughs> that was when they were so good in Impact. And even a little bit as 
broken Matt Woken Matt Hardy was pretty good too. But the young bucks are gonna win this match. Um They've gave them the Hardys enough of a rub. It'll be okay. Young Bucks win. Let's see. Then we'll have... I guess a woman's... Championship. This is actually... My stone... No, not my stone cold lock. My... Match of the night. Or as Thunder Rosa would say, and El Vagabundo. I think it's um Match de la Noches. Yeah. And um, we have Thunder Rosa taking on Serena Deeb. They're going to change the belts. I have a funny feeling. Thunder Rose is more interesting chasing the title. Serena D would be a great heel with a belt. Serena Deeb's gonna win. Uh, let's see here. Then. Got that match. Probably. What's going to be next, you'll have MJF versus Wardlow. I mean, most of these matches are so easy to tell. Wardlow's going to win this match, too. And then, probably by that time, I'll need to lay on, lay on the couch over there. You guys can see it, I think. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see the couch over there. I'll probably lay down, have to sober up a little bit. After all the drinking that I, was, that I would force myself to, and after having a delicious breakfast pizza. Because I'm just going to take a nap through this whole match. And that's going to be the Jericho Appreciation Society taking on what what I've termed is just LAX, three quarters of LAX and two thirds of the uh, Blackpool Combat Club. So you have Jericho 2.0, Daniel Garcia, and Hagar, Jake Hagar, versus... Santana Ortiz, Eddie Edwards, there's LAX, and then Daniel Bryan, and John Mo John Moxley. Um, yeah, the LAX and the Blackpool Combat Club are going to win. Again, I won't know, I'll probably be like taking a nap over there somewhere, if I can get the thumb right. And then your main event of the evening, you're going to have Hangman Adam Page. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Wow, wow, wow. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, ay, ay. Wet, wet. Versus. Look in your eyes, what do you see? A cult of personality. Neon lights, Nobel Prize. When the mirror speaks, the reflection lies. C. M. Punk. And honestly, this might be the Summer of Punk Part 2. Yeah, I haven't given out any fours either. Watch, I'm wrong. Oh no, <laughs> didn't make a difference. Yeah. And that's for the AEW Championship. And at the end we're going to see Black Mussolini and Gandhi. 
It's the cult of personality. Or as I say, the punk of personality. As I have CM Punk winning. He's, yeah, Adam Page sucks being the champion. CM Punk wins. Very simple. Those are my predictions for AEW Double or Nothing. Uh, that's that. Um, what's going to happen? Um, probably Sunday-ish. Either Sunday or Monday. I haven't determined what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, Sunday, um, I'm definitely doing an RR and r show. So, again, you can tune into my channel. I'll try and play some of the volume. I'll try and talk over most of that so I don't get copyright zonked. Um, or not zonked, but just, just have that, that, that finger wag of shame. And then early Sunday, I don't know, I'm debating about it. When I do go to the gym, I do might do, I might do my raw review, so that might be two videos Sunday. On Monday, there's going to be at least three videos. Three videos. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure three videos. One might be a double. Uh, it'll be Monday Night Raw. The Madness. Oops, don't fall there. That's my grocery list. The Madness, Memorial Day Madness here at the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. And a Memorial Day tribute video that I'll be working at. So you guys can see kind of what I see. So what you'll see, what, what I see, as the behind the scenes of it all. Tuesday would be your normal NXT live stream. Wednesday, I don't have any grocery shopping to do. Wednesday, we'll be back at, oh no, that's just AEW. Yeah, they'll at least restart things. Thursday, Impact Wrestling. And then I have to make... I should actually check that out here. Let's see here. When is Hell in a Cell? So it all depends when Hell, Hell in a Cell is. I won't be watching SmackDown. So if Hell in a Cell... Let's see, let's go to shows. So June 5th. So yeah. So I'll be doing... Probably a double prediction video. We're both in your house. Oh, Saturday for NXT in your house, and then Hell in a Cell Sunday. So on, I might have guests on that day too. So Thursday might be a double video day. Two videos with one being a double. Um, Friday I should. Be able to get to SmackDown and Rampage. Because I haven't done that in a while. I haven't done either of those in a while. Saturday will be In Your House. Sunday, it'll be Hell in a Cell. I do have to make an interest. I, oh, I have to find that. Man, I got a lot to do oh, in 15 minutes. That's no bueno, folks. But yeah, other than that, so thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, I'll see you guys later, and I'll and be looking, be on the lookout for a whole bunch of videos coming your way, at least next week for sure.